So our good friend Tucker Carlson, he's at it again, guys, showing the hypocrisy of the conservative movement when it comes to things like immigration and birth rates and things like that. This is an image that a media analyst captured comparing Tucker Carlson over the past couple weeks. This is from Andrew Lawrence. It says here, Tucker Carlson two weeks ago, we need more babies. Tucker Carlson last night, America is full, no more babies, please. And if you look at the two images, you can see in one, it's basically Tucker with a, an image saying America's real crisis. The real crisis of the country is that we have declining fertility rates. Now, he classifies it as a crisis for humanity, but in that context, what he's saying is that, you know, here in America, not enough babies are being born. And because not enough babies are being born, that is a crisis to the United States. And then, last night, about two weeks after that first image, he says this, he says, Tucker Carlson, this is becoming a crowded country and crowded countries are ugly, unhappy countries. And then basically he says, you know, he has a picture of Kamala Harris there and, you know, they're talking about the border and the supposed crisis at the border. Over the past 30 years, the population of the United States has exploded by nearly 100 million people, mostly due to immigration. Were you even aware that that happened? You're not supposed to say a word about it as every year the United States gets steadily more jammed with people and at the same time more chaotic and less cohesive, as the open spaces shrink, as nature itself recedes in the face of yet another strip mall or apartment complex or fast food outlet to serve the new people. This is becoming a crowded country and crowded countries are ugly, unhappy countries. Why are we letting that happen? And this is where you can really see the particular form of conservative, you know, Caucasian nationalism of Tucker Carlson. It's not that America's too crowded. It's not even that the world is too crowded necessarily. It's that the wrong people are being born in the wrong places or that the wrong people are living in the wrong places. And essentially what Tucker Carlson is trying to say here is that the United States remains or should remain a country for white people. That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying, that the tragedy of the United States, and a lot of conservatives have noted this, sometimes they go full mask off, sometimes they're more, they're more coy about it, but they've said the real crisis is demographic replacement, that through immigration on the one hand and discrepancies between fertility rates on the other, white people are being replaced. You've heard all sorts of people talk about this you know, on the alt-right or in the conservative movement, that white women, white families are having less babies. Generally, people of color have more children. And increasingly, immigration to the United States is racialized immigration. And so the, 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 the double edge there is that white people are being replaced. Remember those people that chanted, you will not replace us. We will not be replaced. This is what they were talking about. This is that moment. And Tucker is summoning that. He really doesn't think America is too crowded. That's not what he's talking about. He said two weeks ago that the real crisis is we're not having enough babies. He said that's the real crisis. Except when the babies that come here are not of his skin color or of his faith or of his way of life or of his ideology. That's when it becomes an issue. He's using the word ugly there very deliberately because Tucker is trying to classify not just overcrowdedness as ugly, but the kind of people that will do the overcrowding, quote unquote, as ugly. And he's also trying to classify the currently existing American cities, which again are disproportionately racialized relative to say rural America, or at least most of rural America, the overcrowded, ugly urban cities as juxtaposed to the clean, reasonably crowded, you know, you know, not dirty rural areas and suburbia and small towns, which again are disproportionately likely to be full of European Americans. This is, this is the modern conservative movement. Look at the media landscape 
I, I've talked about this. Kyle Kalinske has talked about this. Lots of people have talked about this. That in the in the post-Trump era, media interest on the mainstream networks is down. And it's not just affecting the left and it's not just affecting the right. You know, Newsmax, OAN, they're down. Fox is down. MSNBC and CNN are also down. Tucker's down a little bit, but frankly, not that much. His numbers have held relatively stable. And I think one of the reasons is, is he is the one articulating Trumpian politics. He is potentially the torchbearer, at least in the media. I don't know if he'll run for office. He might, but he is the torchbearer. He is the lantern keeper of Trumpian, like white nationalism. This guy right here. This is going to be the approach. The approach is going to be, you know, our country's too crowded. We have too many people here. The We, we can't have any more. You know, it, we don't want to be mean, but it's just, the country's full. The country's full. Can't have any more people come. And then simultaneously say, oh, we need to encourage American women. And he's going to say American. He's not going to explicitly say white Americans, but that's really what he's going to mean. He's going to say we need to encourage American women to have more children. Now, of course, it's all very ironic, right? Like this is where Tucker fails to make the full connections. Tucker Carlson, for instance, does not support, you know, universal child care programs. Tucker Carlson does not support, for instance, universal health care. Tucker Carlson does not support, you know, make it making it easier for working class people of all backgrounds to have children and to be able to afford those children. He doesn't support that. Tucker Carlson, for instance, mocked pregnant women in the military. We talked about that. He did that. He mocked women who are having children in the military. Certainly, if you want to encourage birth rate from American women, you would want to have as many jobs as possible. Welcome American women, whether they choose to have children or not, thus improving their ability, their opportunity to have babies. So I'm not necessarily calling this a coherent ideology yet, but what I am saying is is that Tucker Carlson is making this argument deliberately. This is not a contradiction. This is not Tucker two weeks ago saying something and then contradicting himself two weeks later. This is Tucker Carlson giving his ideology. The country is too full for brown babies, for black babies, for any baby that isn't a white baby. But the real tragedy of the United States is that not enough white babies are being born. That's Tucker Carlson's ideology. And it's scary and it's insidious and it's rooted in some deeply hateful ideologies that in some ways are, are even further right wing than the Trumpian GOP. And so we have to recognize it and call it out.